Bob Dylan inspired my song, Life is Alone. I want to introduce my song as a tribute to his influence in our world at so many levels. I first heard Bob Dylan in high school. It was refreshing to hear this signature new raw voice emerge somehow from the cracking concrete and crumbling social structures of the 60s. He made sense out of the confusion. He became a beacon of truth for those looking for honesty. Like a young King David with his lyre, Bob Dylan became a prophetic voice for some, but established himself as a credible poet. The Nobel Prize for Literature confirms what many knew years ago. Although very original and innovative, he exhibits the intelligence of Einstein and the wit and humor of a Mark Twain. He is like a Homer or Horace from a previous time and can be compared to Shakespeare, Milton, Tennyson, Eliot, Thomas or Blake, and American poets like Whitman, Frost, Poe, Dickinson or Ginsburg. He walked among the best with his poetic mastery of the English language and his insights into the human condition. What is even more admirable is the fact that his metaphors, imagery, and intricate rhyme schemes do not just spotlight his work, but rather his works are in sync with the times and authenticate what is, and challenges us to see it and improve it. He is able to give life art and art life. Bob Dylan is a master with words and also with the guitar, harmonica, and piano. His literary and biblical references are a cohesive library of the shared concepts of the centuries. The song Life is Alone reaches into the treasury of some of his famous songs. Ballad of Hollis Brown, Maggie's Farm, Sundown on the Union, Working Man's Blues Number 2, and All Along the Watchtower. He has sung and spoken to the world and the world has listened. Imitation is still the best compliment. I hope this humble effort shows the gratitude many of us feel for what Bob Dylan has done with his words and music in his many songs, albums, videos, movies, and books, and thousands of concerts. He walks tall in our world because of his humility and is advocating for dignity and justice. Besides being a poet and a writer, he is an artist, sculptor, and a philanthropist for a variety of causes. He is credited with being the voice of a generation in the 60s, but his words and music will grace history for many years to come. His insights will not be lost on a decade, but will surpass time in reaching into the human psyche and giving us something tangible to believe in, the human spirit. He has become a catalyst of creativity for many artists, he has shown us the glory of heaven with his poetic imagination. Between the windows of the sea where lovely mermaids flow, and out to the windy beach far from the twisted reach of crazy sorrow, and then glimpses of hell. Stepping in the middle of seven sad forests and been out in front of a dozen dead oceans. They're selling postcards of the hanging. Seven shots ring out there are seven people dead on a South Dakota farm. There is much wisdom in his popular lines. There must be some way out of here, said the joker to the thief. Or how does it feel? We realize that all of us have spent time on desolation row and will someday be knocking on heaven's door. He has replaced the fear of being human with understanding and acceptance of the cards we were dealt while we are on life's stage. Bob Dylan's words echo an eternal paradox of our humanity. We are divine as well as dust. May he stay forever young with one foot in the clouds and the other on earth. Bob Dylan.
The cat I was so friendly. The woman I was so very real. He asked if I had any money. Not enough for my meal. What is it you wish to buy? I just need money to live. You don't need some collateral. I don't have much to give. You need money for a loan. You need a down payment. You need to raise your credit score. If you want to have a little more. I'm not Jesse James, you know. I'm no Al Capone. I'm not here for a heist. I'm just asking for a loan. Yeah. 